Greetings, this is Vladrill and welcome to Let's Play Game of Thrones from Telltale Episode 1 Alright, some of these characters not look bad actually We'll see himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Uh, right. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Or a squire or something? That clipping. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. Why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I, I'd have handed it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let your go. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The King of the King of the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? 
been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as Great. the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. This is going to go horribly wrong. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and nice slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Jensen is stuttering quite a bit. Ah, the road wedding. Great. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather the song. odd. Nice. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. That guy is such an idiot. Um, crap. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> uh! There goes Bowen. Ugh! <sighs> 
stresa sve dve triggere i drago sve dve. Ma to se vrti. Ej, već go. Not gay. Ready boys! Roderick. Yeah, about that. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! Yeah, right. What a freak! You fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Yeah, time to leave. Could have taken the fucking sword. Seven hells. You wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the brace is tight. Don't Yeah. You're fucked. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the phrase you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Packing phrase.
I love this song. That was a good uh, beginning. They don't need to fix the rating at some point, so that would be nice. Iron from ice. I guess that's the coat for uh, the house forester. I'm not sure. That's weird. It's a big yes. Dead big. Hmm. From what? Well, crap. We'll probably have to fight. What is this? A carriage that's blocking the way so you can only go where it, the fire is, I guess. Uh. Yeah, someone was fleeing, probably. That's father's car! Well, crap. Your family is dead. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. All right, see three of them. I hear a lot more than three, though. We see horrible idea. Go along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Not all of them. Where'd you get that not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. Alright. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton mm. is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. That is a heavy sword. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Aye. You'll have it. Say who is the fighting system? All right, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Oh, he was rather poor. Yeah, take the axe. They really are a pig. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't drop the fucking axe, dude. What the hell? the ghost over the side Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Thank you. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Alrighty. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. Oh, she hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. Yeah, perhaps I should have killed him. Well, too late now. Alright, let me end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I'll see you next time.